and it's gonna be a year where I'm the number one, so everybody else gonna see what I can do. So I, I see the polls and I see it, and I just, it, I'm just laughing at it. Cause I'm like, oh my God, I'm okay. I think you told us um, back in March you were around the last really more than you ever have been. You were around yeah. every day. Have you been able to sustain that months yeah. and months? And, and what's kind of been the challenge? And, and it's a different kind of approach, it sounds like, for you. Yeah, and, so and I making mean, that last all year. It may just be a maturity thing, like knowing it's my time and just wanting to, want to be like, all right, I don't want to miss this opportunity. I'm, I'm the number one. I've been waiting for this opportunity. I want to do everything in my power. So I can't look back and be like, ah, oh, I pulled on my opportunity. And honestly, you get you get tired of hearing, you get tired of hearing Mar, O State receivers in general, other receivers around the country. So I'm like, I got to be that much focused because I'm not just competing with guys here. I'm competing with like other guys in the country. Like Coach Frank said, I'm going to be a top guy in the country. And like I am. But I just know it comes with work, consistency, habits. So I've been trying to stick to that. You mentioned uh, coming to Ohio State game. But just looking back at your time as a recruit and now, do you pay attention to the guys who are recruits now and that might follow in your footsteps down the road? And what is that interaction like with those guys? And how important is that process for you as an older guy to help them? So I didn't really pay attention to it, I'm not going to lie. But like last week, I, have, I hosted. And I think I'm hosting again this weekend. And I'm, I, I do realize how important it is because those are the same young guys that you you want them to carry on the legacy that you put and leave at the room. And I, I'm starting to realize that I want, like I said, I'm trying to create, I want Penn State receiver room to be a dynasty. And I know it don't happen off of one year or two years. So like the dude that, uh, that we just got to commit, I'm telling him like, yo, we need you in the room. We need our young guys. You need to try to get him. Just so like, I want I want Penn State to be looked at as O State and all of that. Like, man, we, we got guys, we got talent just, over, just here, just like they do everywhere else in the country. And I want that to be showcased. I want it to be brought into the light. And I know we need them guys brought in. So I, I definitely put more uh, effort into it. What was a great season for you this year? I know you're not for the putting no stats and stuff out there, but I'm a, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I will say, <laughs> I will say a great season is me uh, just being able to showcase all my talents. Whether that's 50 catches, 60 catches, 70, 80, 100 plus, I just want to have opportunities to make big plays uh, down the field, quick game, reverse, whatever it may be. I want to feel like a playmaker, and I want to feel like at the end of the season, I put my talent on. Uh, I showcase my talent to the world, and I do everything in my power, possibly before the season, everything, to, you know, to be the best I can this season, and then the results, y'all will see. Yeah. Huh? yeah.